Our ancestors were constantly curious about the nature of the earth, especially the shape of the earth. They had different ideas about the shape of the earth, like a fat disc or a spear. So today we are ready to present detailed information about the earth in this video. How did earth get its name? The name of our planet, Earth Word, is said to go back at least 1,000 years. The name Earth is an English-German name which simply means the ground. It comes from the Old English words Eeyore and Ertha. In German it is Erde, which means ground or soil. Earth is the only one planet in our solar system that does not come from Greek-Roman mythology. All of the planets were named after Greek and Roman gods and goddesses. How old is Earth? Although the exact age of the Earth is difficult to determine, scientists believe it to be about 4.543 billion years old. The age of Earth is found by measuring the age of very old Earth rocks. This age has been estimated by measuring the amount of radioactive decay in rocks and minerals on Earth, and by observing the elements that exist in the Sun. Scientists have also measured the age of meteorites which have fallen onto Earth's surface, and the age of moon rocks brought back by the Apollo astronauts. The age of the Earth is believed to be the same as the other planets in the solar system since they all formed at the same time from the same raw materials. What is the Earth made of? The Earth is made out of many things. It is actually layered much like the layers of an onion. The outer layer is called the crust. It is made up of mostly oxygen, silicon, aluminum, iron, calcium, sodium, potassium, and magnesium. The second layer is called mantle. It is made up of rock containing silicon, iron, magnesium, aluminum, oxygen, and other minerals. The innermost layer is called the core, which is mostly made up of nickel and iron. It is composed of two parts. The outer core is believed to be a liquid iron and nickel alloy while the inner core is a solid mass of iron. The inner core is thought to spin within the liquid outer core, creating a magnetic field that protects the Earth from solar radiation. What is Earth's location in space? The Earth is the third planet from the Sun at a distance of about 93 million miles in the solar system. The Earth is located in the universe in the Virgo supercluster of galaxies. A supercluster is a group of galaxies held together by gravity. Within this supercluster Earth is in a smaller group of galaxies called the local group. Earth is in the second largest galaxy of the local group, a galaxy called the Milky Way. Our planet is part of a discrete solar system in an arm of the spiral-shaped Milky Way galaxy. Our galaxy is only one of billions of other galaxies that exist within the universe. How much does the Earth weight? The Earth is actually weightless because it exists in space. But it does have mass. If we were able to weigh the Earth in its own gravitational field, it would weigh approximately 13 septillion 176 billion pounds since Earth is too big to be placed on a scale. Scientists use mathematics and the laws of gravity to figure out Earth's weight. The Earth is actually gaining mass. It is believed that our planet is gaining about 40,000 metric tons of mass each year from space debris that impacts the surface and burns up in the atmosphere. How large is the Earth? Earth's circumference is 40,075 kilometers. Its diameter is about 12,756 kilometers. Earth is slightly smaller when measured between the North and South Poles, which gives a diameter of 12,725 kilometers. Earth bulges out a bit more around the equator than around the poles because of its rotation. Believe it or not, the Earth is not a perfect sphere. Because the Earth is flatter at the poles and wider at the equator it is actually considered to be an oblate spheroid instead of a perfect sphere. However, if the planet were to stop spinning on its axis, gravity would pull it into a nearly perfect sphere. How fast does the Earth rotate? The Earth rotates once on its axis each day. Because it is so large, it is moving incredibly fast. The Earth rotates roughly 1,000 miles per hour. 
however, its speed depends on the location you are measuring. At the equator, the speed is 1,038 miles per hour. The middle latitudes of the United States and Europe are moving at between 700 and 900 miles per hour. At the poles, it is hardly moving at all. At the South Pole, you would take an entire day just to rotate once in place. How fast does the Earth move around the Sun? The Earth is moving about our Sun in a very nearly circular orbit. It covers this route at a speed of nearly 30 km per second, or 67,000 miles per hour. This is only an average because the Earth's orbit around the Sun is not perfectly circular. It is actually slightly elliptical. When the Earth is closer to the Sun, it moves a little bit faster. When it is further away, it moves a little slower. The Earth takes one year to orbit the Sun. Since it is 93 million miles away from the Sun, it has to be moving extremely fast to cover this vast distance. Why don't we feel the Earth move? The Earth rotates at a speed of about 1,000 miles per hour and orbits around the Sun at a speed of about 67,000 miles per hour. The rotational and orbital speeds of Earth stay the same. Therefore we do not feel any of this motion. We can only feel motion if our speed changes. For example, if we are in a vehicle which is moving at a constant speed on a smooth surface, we will not feel much motion. However, when the vehicle accelerates or when the brakes are applied, we do feel motion. What are the highest and lowest temperatures on Earth? The highest temperature ever recorded on Earth was 136 Fahrenheit in the Libyan desert. The coldest temperature ever measured was minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit at Vostok Station in Antarctica. How much water does Earth have? The Earth is a watery place. There are more than 326 million trillion gallons of water on Earth. About 71% of the Earth's surface is water-covered, and the oceans hold about 96.5% of all Earth's water. Less than 3% of all this water is freshwater and of that amount, more than two-thirds is locked up in ice caps and glacier. Water also exists in the air as water vapor, in rivers and lakes, in ice caps and glacier, in the ground as soil moisture and in aquifers. Water is never sitting still. Thanks to the water cycle, our planet's water supply is constantly moving from one place to another and from one form to another. Things would get pretty stale without the water cycle. What is the atmosphere of Earth made of? The Earth's atmosphere is an extremely thin sheet of gas that surrounds the planet. It is made of a variety of different gases. The Earth's atmosphere is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.9% argon, and 0.03% carbon dioxide with very small percentages of other elements. It also contains about 1% water vapor, which forms clouds and storms. In addition, Earth's atmosphere contains traces of dust particles, pollen, plant grains, and other solid particles. Although the planet is nearly 8,000 miles in diameter, the atmosphere is only 62 miles thick. This thin sheet of gas is all that separates us from the cold vacuum of outer space. What keeps our atmosphere attached to Earth? Our atmosphere is kept in place by the pull of Earth's gravity. If Earth was a much smaller planet, like Mercury or Pluto, its gravity would be too weak to hold a large atmosphere. How thick is Earth's ozone layer? The ozone layer is one layer of the stratosphere, the second layer of the Earth's atmosphere. The stratosphere is the mass of protective gases clinging to our planet. The ozone layer absorbs bits of radiation hitting Earth from the Sun. Even though we need some of the sun's radiation to live, too much of it can damage living things. The ozone layer acts as a shield for life on Earth. 
Earth's ozone layer's average thickness is about 300 Dobson units or a layer that is 3 mm thick. It is about the same as two pennies stacked one on top of the other.